In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to note edit curves in Vinyl Master. So I've brought in the future bird here, just some curves that were all created in Vinyl Master. And if I zoom into, say, this section here, we can see this nice set of curves here. Now, if we want to note edit these curves, what we do is we go over to note edit mode, which is this fly out here, and we click on note edit. We click on the curve like that, and we can see all these nodes come up in control points, etc. So this is how we note edit. The, uh, the actual curves themselves by selecting these nodes. Now I'll just zoom down to here uh, or zoom into this area here so I can show you this. So if I click on this we can see that we've got our node point here and we get presented with all these node tools along the top here and all these node controls down in our heads up down here. Now when it comes to node editing on the screen we can use our mouse to do a lot of things here we can click on this node and move it around and we can see exactly what it's going to do. We get a preview of where the, the, the curve shape is going to go and what it's going to look like and when we let go we get exactly that shape. Now we also get these, these slider nodes here. If I left click on these slider nodes and move them you can see what's happening here. We get this shape here. If I click back on the node and I click on this slider node I can slide it up and down all the way to the next node like that or all the way up to this node as you can see. So you can get, you can create the actual shape you want using these slider nodes. They're very powerful. If I bring that slider node all the way to that corner, I get a sharp point as you can see. And if I click on that point, I get this node here, which pulls that out, pulls that um, that corner back into a, a round shape. Another thing you can do with the nodes is right click on them. Now in Vinyl Master, there's three states of right click. The first is that one there, which is nice, or a nice round curve. The next one is this one, which is a very smooth curve. And the third one, when I right click, is a sharp point, which we just saw before. So you have like a rounded effect, a very smooth effect, and a sharp point. They're handy ways of, of manipulating the shape of a particular curve. So between moving, sliding, and right clicking, we can get a, a number of shapes. Now another thing we can do is we can actually add and remove nodes. So if I come down here and click here, double click, I can actually add a node like this, as you can see, and I can right click to get all the different uh, smooth smoothness and the sharp point. If I double click again, I remove the node. So by adding a node, we can also change the shape quite dramatically. And, and combining adding and removing and all these on-screen controls, we really can create any shape we want in the program, as you can see. Okay, other things we can do is we can move groups of nodes. So not only do we, can we move single nodes like this, we can actually move a whole group of nodes. So if I've got all these nodes here and I want to move these as a group, I can draw a marquee over them like that, click and move, as you can see. I can also align nodes in Vinyl Master. So if I want to align all these nodes here, I can select, it, select them by drawing a marquee as so and come up to this tool up here in this drop down and we have all these alignment options. Now in this case I'll align them to the right and as you can see they align to the right. I've got all sorts of alignment controls here that I can select from. So that's how I align nodes. Another thing we can do in Vinyl Master which is quite good is we can break this curve. So at the moment this is a complete curve. If I zoom out you can see it's a closed curve and it goes all the way around. So if I give it a fill, as so, it's a closed curve as you can see. I'm just viewing it in wireframe just so that it's easier to work with. And often you do that when you're working with curves. It's a lot easier to work in wireframe. So zooming back to this area again, back in node edit mode. Oops, I just want to select this. That's it. Okay, if I want to break this curve, it's really quite easy to do that. I can come up to this tool here break curve, click on that, I can click there and you'll see that it's broken the curve as you can see there like that. So I've broken this curve here and I can remove that line or remove those nodes by simply moving them around like so. Now if I want to uh, close this curve again I've got this control here and as most programs they just put the shortest distance, just put a line between the start and the end point. I just want to show you something here too. 
This is the start point where it goes all the way around and comes to the end and you can see the direction of the curve. You can also change the direction of the curve. Now it's coming this way by clicking on this tool here, reverse curve direction. So this is our start point going all the way around and it comes down to our end point here. Okay. Now as I said, in most programs when you close a curve this is what you get, just a straight line. But in Vinyl Master it's got an extra uh, close curve option here which is close curve smooth. And it's a very powerful tool this because it's going to find the smoothest curve that fits between these two points. So if I click on this curve, you can see that's exactly what it's done. It's fitted the curve with a nice smooth curve like that and we can come back and edit it again. So you get, uh, you get the benefit of that, uh, that particular tool there. Now another thing I want to show you about these curves is how geometric they are. So I come out here, I click off that curve for a moment, I bring up my page options here, I come down to grid, I turn my grid on and I can snap to my grid as well. So I'm just going to draw out a square here, as so, that'll do. I'll convert that to curves and I'll then just view that in wireframe as well so I can see what I'm doing. Now if I go to node edit mode you can see that the nodes will snap to the grid as so and if I oops if I I can just bring those back I accidentally moved them if I right click on this node you'll see how it makes a perfect shape a perfect circle cir circle shape as so so out of a square I can make a perfect circle because of the geometric nature of the vinyl master curves now if I just go back to those as straight uh, straight corners there and I right click again you can see this geometric shape that's being made here it looks like a leaf so the uh, curves in Vinyl Master and the nodes work together to make geometric shapes, including very smooth shapes like this. You get best of both worlds in the program. So that's a handy thing to know for, for you. Okay, now, another thing we can do here... Uh, oops. <laughs> See, it's snapping to this corner here, so I need to turn that off. So I go grid and turn that off. Okay, so now it will no longer snap. Now I can come back and fix this by simply doing this like that. So it's easily fixed. And the other thing you should know is that a lot of these curve tools are available from the curves menu up here. So if I go up to curves menu, come down to node editing, I get all these curve tools here. And as I said before, you get these curves up the top here with some drop down options. You can replace curves, you can make uh, smooth connections, you can erase, erase sections, you can also reduce the uh, nodes. Uh, you've got controls about how far you reduce those and you also get these controls on the uh, these heads up displays. Now all these tools have their own lessons so you can go and watch those when you're ready. One other last thing I want to show you just quickly is what happens when you're trying to edit a curve uh, over a dark background. It's all fine when it's on a white background like this but if I drew a square like that and I sent that to the back I select my curve and I go to node edit mode as so, it's really not very uh, a good way of editing it. As you can see, it's quite um, it's quite difficult. You really can't see what you're doing. So that's that's no way to edit a curve when you're on a on a black background or a dark background. Up in the top right hand corner here, there's this button up here, which is the display curve frames. If I click that on, and I select my frame now, my curve now, you can see that it makes this sort of uh, dotted line, which is the opposite colour to black or a bright colour over a dark colour and now I can see the shape of my curve much more clearly. So it's a very handy tool to have because sometimes when you're noted in curves over dark uh, dark backgrounds it can be very difficult to see what you're doing but by using this particular tool it makes life much easier and you can see that I can even see the sliders here as such. If I make this a right click I've got this one here and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's up in the top right hand corner here this is show curve frame and uh, that's editing curves at the end of this lesson.